Welcome to the Salty Nerds React to Trailers and Stuff with David Hewlett. I'm joined as always by my fantastic panel of nerds. Matt Vader is here. We're talking, uh, what are we talking today? We're talking, We're talking C, C season, three. season three. That's right. That's coming yeah. right around the corner. What's up, V? How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm excellent. I'm very excited. We're here with David, We're here with David Hewlett. It's crazy. That's Every time. wild. In it's his weird. Fort Bunker. In his Fort in Bunker. His, fort. <laughs> his undisclosed location. Yes. I'm so happy we're Fort Worthy. It's it's re it's really just our basement. <laughs> <laughs> we have him trapped down there. <laughs> He's down there by himself. It's like, you won't talk into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Jude is also here. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Are you excited for season three? Yes, I am. I'm very Super stoked. excited. Actually, I am. Um, I went to a bar the other night and apparently I made friends with everyone. And uh, <laughs> yesterday, one of the girls that I made friends with was like, oh, thanks for that recommendation for C. She's like, I started season one today. And I was like, actually, we're having Queen Kane on the show next week. And also uh, David Hewlett. Um, we're, we're talking to him tomorrow. And she was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like we're good at our jobs. <laughs> and I was like, um... Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, keep watching though. Speaking of big deals, Matthew Cadish is here. Welcome, sir. Yes, I'm very glad to have my best friend, David Hewlett, back on the show. It's always <laughs> good to see him. You called me your best friend last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you don't hold a candle to David Hewlett, babe. I'm, I'm I sorry. I understand. Yeah. He does things to you that I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Making it weird here in the Salty River Podcast. Welcome, and David. That was the last time David showed up <laughs> yeah, on the podcast. David Doug. I thought it was hot in this tent already. But, uh, <laughs> the temperature just went up a little. He's like, I'm blushing. What's going on? Oh, I, I should mention the tent The tent fort is just because we're doing renovations and I'm trying to keep the noise down. <laughs> yeah, so. I was going to say, you should probably explain that. Uh, I kind of like that it was a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I could have just left it. Uh, welcome, sir. Thank you for joining us for, uh, as we react to uh, the third season of a TV show that you came in on season two, and we were thrilled. Uh, Jonathan Tropper took over the show, and it's just, it's turned this corner, and it's been amazing ever since. I, I remember the moment where we were like, wait, did this show get good? I, know. <laughs> it's like, uh, I was looking forward to a whole what season are we gonna of talk about? Yeah. <laughs> then it got good. Yeah, it got really good. So we're, we're, we're have, very happy to have you here, and we're going to react to the trailer for season three that just dropped a couple weeks ago we we held off on our reaction uh because we knew that dave was going to join us so we wanted to wait for his availability so we're going to talk about that uh trailer after we watch it so whenever you're ready mr producer take it away Sweet. i have spent my life trying to protect my family and our battle begins today i freaking love that i know man. that's so dope <laughs> Yeah, it's too bad none of the characters can see it. <laughs> oh, the world has changed. Sylvia with her freaking hair back? Grew her hair out. This new weapon, more powerful than you can imagine. It would kill thousands. No fight, just death. Fire! New bad guy? Matt! Oh my god. Oh, look at him! Look at him! He's like. I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. <laughs> All of fire will be ours. Tamakta Jew. Tamakta Jew looks good. The greatest weapon this world has ever known. No religion will stop it. War is quite an elegant solution. I am your queen! Yes, there she is. Yeah, crazy bitch. <laughs> I'm your crazy bitch queen. Oh, oh, shit. oh, she's gonna kill. <gasps> Music's pretty epic. Yeah. Yeah. It is. My crown. yeah. Now that crown will be forged in the burning flames of war. The burning flames of war. <laughs> the final chapter. I will be a queen of war. Oh man, I just got chills. I know. Hit them again. Look at this shit, dude. My god. I can't believe this show came this far, this far dude. Yeah. yeah, remember the water bottles in season one? <laughs> yeah. God damn, that looks good. That's so freaking cool. I'm so excited. I'd watch that movie. <laughs> it looks like a movie. It looks like a movie. That's incredible. Even my man. son liked it. Yeah, you were saying. It's usually like, whatever, dad, whatever. Yeah, I saw you. You tweeted something about it. You're like, yeah, you know, I watched this trailer, and even my kid thinks I look badass. And oh, I'm like, oh, man, I, yeah. 
David, you look like a major player in this season too. I've got a few things to do. <laughs> I said to my son, I said to my son, whenever you see fire and explosions, I'm there. <laughs> and you're going like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or make it, or monologuing, lots yes, of monologuing. Yes. I'm like scared to ask yeah. you anything because I want to know, and also I I don't no. want to know yet. Yeah, so <laughs> he probably can't tell us anyway. I, I want to ask some. I can't tell you anything. Yeah. I want to <laughs> ask some practical effects stuff because I know you guys. Uh, I saw mm. um, some behind the scenes photos way back when you were still filming. Uh, I think it was like probably last year sometime. They had yeah, yeah, yeah. real legit huge explosions going on set. Re you were oh, yeah. you were there for those? How intense? I was there for some of them. Okay, it's, there was such a weird COVID thing because they had to have. Like, this is what's so weird seeing it now is that all of a sudden I go, oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what was happening. Uh -huh. Because, you know, in many cases, there's like you're looking at an empty field and then you're like, OK, they're, they're, they're coming. I'm like, OK, whoever they are, I'm going to run away. <laughs> um, you know, it was it's just it's that the way they pieced it together, they put in the visual effects and stuff is just extraordinary because mm -hmm. i'm like i mean i we obviously we knew what was going on anders was great about letting us know and stuff but and there's chopper they're telling you you're running in the wrong direction <laughs> but um but uh but it was um it, it really this is like a testament to post to post as well mm -hmm. because you know they shot some magnificent stuff like that that whole ship that you see they just built one section of that mm -hmm. that we would all clamber into and do and do scenes in. So okay. it's like that's the first time I'd seen it as well. Yeah. So, so even even it's the idea that a little bit of that wrecked ship is real like tickles my yeah. fancy. Yeah. I love that. I, I love. Oh the, yeah, there's a. It's a big chunk. I, it's I like love, a good like three bedroom size apartment. Wow. Yeah. I love the fact that that David invented the uh, world's greatest um, weapon, a trebuchet. <laughs> It's incredible with, with fire. <laughs> with fire. Explosions. Yeah. Well, well what's, what's, crazy, yeah. what's crazy about watching that trailer, is, and David even just mentioned it, is that I remember when we were interviewing uh, Jonathan Tropper last year, and he was talking about, like, th they were in the middle of shooting season three, and uh, he was talking about, like, all the COVID restrictions mm -hmm. and yeah. the terrible weather that they were oh, dealing God. with and all this other stuff. Oh, the and, weather, and, that's right, was insane. Yeah. And, and you watch this trailer, and none of that, even crosses yeah. your mind. It looks yeah. funny. And I'm gonna I mean, take it, it, it looks like, uh, I feel like the whole COVID thing has made editors and effects guys learn their craft at a next level. Oh, well, I bet. You, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, because I'm, they have to oh, yeah. make up for it. For sure. I'm going to yeah. take this opportunity to dog on Star Wars a little bit, but we see what happens when they don't do it right in these yeah. Star Wars yeah. TV shows and they look like there's like four people on set and it's all just oh like God, the yeah. volume. Well, it the, looks, I mean, the looks volume, cheap. Like, it's a cool technology, but it looks it, cheap. It though. doesn't. It it's doesn't overused, it. though. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's just yeah. overused. Like there's a time and a place for that stuff. And, and I, mm -hmm. I feel like maybe like production or, or maybe networks are going like, oh, great. We don't need to build any of this stuff. Let's just stick them in front of that uh, screen. Yep. And uh, yeah. those Star Trek, those Star Wars folks, they'll, they'll watch anything. <laughs> and I think that's, that's gonna, that's changing rapidly because there's so many options out yeah. there. Yeah. And you can see the difference in it the quality. It has its place though. Yeah. I mean, you it, know, whatever. I, I think oh, it was, yeah, it was yeah. better used uh, in smaller environments. I think there was mm -hmm. a scene uh, mm -hmm. with inside of a cantina and I thought it looked really well, mm -hmm. but when they do it in these big open areas, yeah. it looks like crap. The desert starts looking a little tired. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so the, the, the quality difference bank in front. Yeah, yeah the, the quality difference is insane when you watch something like this and you're like those people put in some legwork to make that look that good. It was it's really cool. But remember, I don't know if you guys remember seeing if you ever saw Gravity when you saw Gravity mm -hmm. for the first time. Mm -hmm. And that was like the first time I'd really seen this thing truly used in a way that just made they basically invented it for this. But was seeing the light interact the everything yeah. just looked like it just took it up to this next this next level of effects. Mm -hmm. And now I feel like like any like like with visual effects at first when it came out, it's like, you know, everyone's like, yeah, put a monster in. It's like, oh, God, that's awful. Everyone looks like <laughs> more, mighty morphing Power Rangers. And mm -hmm. then and then slowly we've sort of learned how to sort of just pick pick our battles. But mm -hmm. but on C, so much of it was practical. Yeah. Like I mean, so even, much stuff was practical. Even season one, they weren't filming in a, in a little room. Oh no. It's, were, it's a, it's yeah. always been a gorgeous show. Yeah. yeah. It's been a beautiful even their little show. rooms are huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even the scenes from the like episode one of season one where they're up in the, up in the mountains getting ready for the, oh. the fight on the wall and mm -hmm. stuff. It was that that's, first that's, that's wall amazing. fight. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. It's a wild. <laughs> so yeah. You, yeah. you filmed seasons two and three back to back, right? Did you have any break yeah. in between? It was like a little, I mean, I had lots of breaks because I had the like easiest role in the world. I would show up a day here, a day there. Everyone hated me. I was so freaking happy. I feel, Hi to diddly do. I feel like you say that back. about every show you work on. That's his secret. Yeah. I, I kind of, it's true. I do kind of enjoy what I do. I'm sort of still surprised that people pay me for it. <laughs> Don't tell Tropper that. Um, 
Yeah, I just, especially the last, the last two things that I've done were kind of like two of my favorite projects of all time. Like mm -hmm. just because of the people, because of the show, because of the role, it just everything came together. And 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 this was just, it was just extraordinary. I mean, just watching, as you say, like watching them blow up fields, <laughs> like yeah. just blowing stuff up, and you know these giant these ridiculously massive bombs that they built they had a whole i mean i don't think we'll see it because i don't well i don't know if they included enough but there's at one point they actually open up one of those bomb things and and you can see the inner workings and i was like oh, wow. oh my god that's beautiful that's cool you know? so, so uh in the end of season two we get revealed that you are the mastermind behind the explosions and you kind of have this like this Euphoric, mad euphoric, mad scientist look on your face at the end of season two. The mad chemist. Yeah, yes. without yeah. giving any spoilers away, can you tell us uh, how that progresses in season three? Are you, are, do you go farther down into this dark hole? It looks like you're just like war is so elegant. Like <laughs> those lines. Like tell us a little bit about your character in season three. I mean, that's it. He's sort of. I mean, it's almost he sort of revels. I think somehow he's, I mean, he's a total psychopath in a way. He's completely removed the humanity from his, from his scientific decisions. So he's, he sees this truly as an elegant solution to the problem that they have. Like, this is a problem. We need to get rid of these people. How, what is the fastest, most efficient way of getting rid of them? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's purely how he's approached it. He's approached war as a science. And as a result, you get this wonderful little sort of sneak peek at the beginning where even he's surprised by how, you know, when that thing blew up, mm -hmm. I'm going to say that as, as opposed to saying that I'm truly, I'm, I don't just play a coward on television. I also am, you know, they blow stuff up and I jump just as, <laughs> <laughs> but the idea that even he is surprised by what this little mix of, of chemicals has done, you know? Um, and, and of course, again, you keep in mind that they can't see, like they're not sighted. So mm -hmm. they're all they have is sound. So the idea of the explosion has so much more, um, somewhat for pun resonance to it because because they can only hear mm -hmm. so you imagine how disorienting it is when you just lose all sense of where you are where it came from your hearing for a while i mean it's catastrophic as mm -hmm. a weapon and thus it's incredibly effective especially against an, an army of the unsighted right so yeah so uh david um when we were interviewing uh, joe flanagan he mentioned yes. that that you and he have a, a little scene together uh, in season three. We did, yes. and uh, yeah. and uh, I, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about that and whether or not you actually got to share the screen with uh, Momoa at a certain point. Momoa and I uh, definitely. Well, do we actually get on the same shot at any point? I wonder. There's so many. We shot it in such a bizarre way because we had to shoot Jason first. So you'd literally shoot a scene, and then like three months later, you'd come back, and someone standing in for Jason would be. Mm. opposite you as you do the scene um which you know i do sci-fi all the time it, that's that sort of comes naturally to me to some extent and also i know jason so well i usually know roughly what what he's gonna not what he's gonna do but you get us well i basically know i have no idea what he's gonna do it's basically <laughs> the way to go with it um you know but i also had seen i got to be there i was off camera for all of that stuff so i got to watch all I, it was such an amazing process you watch the whole thing get made and then you go back and do your part of it so you can truly sort of like a little puzzle piece you can put your yourself in the way you feel it's going to work um and of course the choppers and anders and everyone there they're just they're great at keeping you keeping you on in line on that stuff but but i don't i i don't know if jason and i are actually on screen together in the same shot but i i know there's definitely some back and forth this you know throughout the throughout the season actually which is kind of fun right. and it was just great and, and what know, about your uh, scene with uh, flanagan and, Fl and Flanagan, oh, see, Flanagan, Flanagan is one of those like wonderful sort of, I don't know if I should say this, but it's, <laughs> let's just say it's an indoor scene. Um, so there was sort of time to play. And uh, it's, I think at one point it turned to me and said, oh, once again, I'm stuck in a room listening to you talk. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm, that was great. It was actually fantastic. I'm really was supposed to be another day with him, but we couldn't do it because his, his son got sick. So oh. they, they ended up uh, having to lose it. So. It's so fun listening yeah. to you talk about each other too because you've known each other for so long and it it's like listening to a bunch of brothers like bust each other's balls mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah no we're absolutely brutal to each other it's terrible <laughs> i mean you know I, there was there was a scene that jason had and and he was having he's having a hard time with it there's a lot of stuff to do and a lot of a lot of physical exercise and stuff and we were running the rehearsal running the rehearsal and and he sort of he sort of loudly said you know it's gotta be faster it's gotta be faster and uh so we go to to rehearse again and so of course naturally when i step up i 
talk. <laughs> really? And you could just see him going like, what the hell? Oh, it's Hewlett. <laughs> like, it's like you could see him going like, is this guy an idiot? Oh, no, he is an idiot. It's okay. I got it. <laughs> so you're literally poking the bear on this one, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah. Well, and I sort of forget, right? At times I forget that I'm not, like, we're not, we're not equals anymore on set. <laughs> like, there's no, it's no, you don't mess with Momoa. Like, it's not, like, this is his baby. This is his show. This mm -hmm. is, you know. Um, so I have to sort of hold my tongue every so often because I'm just not sure how far one can go. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we, we'd we had, Jason and I had an argument, had a really mm -hmm. nasty, You nasty told us argument. about that. Yeah. And I think one of the things I loved so much about C was that that was, I don't know if it was settled, but it was just, it was resolved, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we... And it was back to, you know, sharing photos of the kids and, That's good. And, and, you know, and teasing each other and stuff. And that, I think, honestly, that was a big part of why I love the show is I feel like I got my friend back. As well. oh, That's awesome. That's, That's nice. awesome. Which is, just, which is just lovely. I mean, it's just, you know, I've always, I've always loved the guy, um, you know, as terrifying as he can be sometimes. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, and then, of course, I also, I also got to learn to maybe not get into arguments with people who are like twice my size. <laughs> Well, Joe told oh, yeah, well, hmm, <laughs> never mind. It's like, I just got in a fight with Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> yeah, awesome. like literally, I'm thinking like, gonna kill you know. Joe yeah. told us yeah. a story uh, about uh, a time back in the Stargate days when, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the uh, back and forth between you and Jason and Joe and uh, Jason and Joe were pulling up next to you and you, you got to see uh Jason's um, anatomy. Yeah, <laughs> the inside Jason a, Momoa. <laughs> like it was, it was. I mean, I said to, to to Flanagan, he's done himself such a disservice because forever inextricably bound in my mind is his grinning face and Jason Momoa's asshole. Like it was a full cheek spread slapped up against the. Was, you know. Now I actually feel bad about bringing it up, bringing up your trauma. Would you like to talk about trauma? It was like trauma? science class. There was nothing. Yeah, there was nothing. Sex. It was. It was like science class. Honestly, it was like it was. Yeah. And Joe's shitting and, and, and and I, right next to it. Yeah, but that's it. And he's just like <laughs> and forever i'll just see his face which was worse for you butt. joe's face or jason's ass well i think it's just i didn't you don't i mean i'm so prudish i guess it just didn't register i'm like there's jason and then is that like is i is it some kind of a dog is it like there's a kind of a trying to figure out what it is and then going oh god <laughs> like change and they and they roar off you know is so, it newman yeah, after <laughs> Oh, oh man. All right. So I have one last question for you about, see, I'm, I'm just really genuinely curious uh, who you kind of referenced um, in, a, in the real world for your character, for this like scientific madman. Is there anybody in history that you kind of like took ideas from to create this character? It, it, it's definitely kind of a, it's kind of a weird combination of, um, uh, of like Richard Feynman and, uh, you know, one of the one of the Nazi scientists. Mm -hmm. Basically, mm. there's this glee and childlike passion for what he does, except that what he does is kill lots and lots of people. Um, you know, and and I think he just, I mean, it's a bit, in a way, there's a bit of an Elon Musk in there as well, because I I feel like it's almost like this is a game to him. This is a mm. this is almost like an illusion. This is like just a game that he's on the on the planet to play. A bit to, separated from reality. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. he's he's constantly playing it like a game, and even his own, even his own mortality, I feel, is something that he doesn't, it almost doesn't matter to him. It's it's more about the, it's all about the science. So mm. so yeah, it's a weird combination of this sort of joyful, this joyful passion for discovery and for science, you know, but for all the wrong reasons, right? Mm -hmm. So you know. Right so um, yeah. my last question has to do with um, the finality of the season. So like, it's now official that this is the last season of C, three and done. And uh, I killed it. And, <laughs> <laughs> I killed C. Yeah, when when we were uh, interviewing um, uh, Michael Snyman, the uh, cinematographer for uh, the show, mm. uh, he let it slip that this was going to be the last season, and uh, and this was way before like you know anything about season three had come out, and we were all so bummed about it because yeah. we were like, oh, we yeah. were hoping for like you know seven seasons in the movie. <laughs> uh, it's so good now. <laughs> <laughs> but, it uh, really is, isn't it? It's like this massive action thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like it, it's it, just, but it's action, but with 
you know, with some brains behind it. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's, it's become pretty epic. And when the show first started, like we were just making fun of like how like ridiculous so many of the scenarios were, but now it, it seems like it's kind of like come into its own and we're sorry to see it go. Uh, can you tell us like, so like when you were, you, when you guys were shooting season three, you guys obviously knew that this was going to be the last season. Um, was there any kind of like, I don't know, sentiment on set that you guys were sad to see it ending or was it such a grueling production that everyone was just like, I can't wait to go home. <laughs> That's funny. No, I didn't get the sense that people couldn't wait to get home. I mean, I, I think, you know, I think there's a, there was a combination. I think there are younger, there are younger cast who maybe don't know how, how good it was, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, I've worked for 30 something years and, and that this is one of my favorite shows ever is like saying something, you know, I mean, they just, the way they looked after us, the way like for, we're, they're flying me and the family down to LA to, to see the screening in LA. Oh, like, like that kind of stuff. And they're putting us up at a hotel and stuff. I'm like, I, like I, I was, I was literally like, uh, how, well, how much is the hotel? They're like, no, 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 we'll get the hotel. I'm like, what, how much are the flights? Like, no, no, no. Like I just, it's not, you it's know, that, it's that I, Apple money. <laughs> I got the Apple money. Well, yeah. yeah. It's Apple money, but you know, I've been on big, big things before that just don't give a crap about who they're, who's working in it. I mean, and this was just a, you know, just everything about them was just it was like this it really was a c family they called it a c family and it was definitely and there's always a sense of that with with shows but but they were just so tight it was so funny sitting in the in the tent and listening to them them talk and stuff especially after having watched you know i just i'd watched everything mm. so you know um and how different some of the characters are i i just i can't get over how different people are on and off screen um but, uh, but yeah, no, this, I get definitely got a sense that from the kids, there was like this kind of like, whew, I'm tired. Can't wait to move on to better things. And then there are older guys like me going like, oh boy, another <laughs> 20 years before another one of these comes along. You know, like it's, 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 uh, you know, I, I just, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's all, it's always interesting to see. I, I remember with Stargate, I remember with Stargate, like season five, we wrapped up season five and we assumed we were coming back for a movie. That was the plan. Um, but even at the end of season five, I was like, okay, I am, done. I am tired. I'm done. I'm grumpy. I'm, you know, and then of course, like two months later, you get, you're refreshed again. You're like, okay, what do we start? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so it's definitely, it's definitely a hard slog, but I mean, in the scheme of things, you know, as a job, it's kind of hard to say like, whoa, really <laughs> tough, really <laughs> tough job. Sometimes the sandwiches are cold. <laughs> you know, that's the important thing, right? Yeah. It must yeah. be a spinal tap where he's like, the sandwich is too small. <laughs> too small. <laughs> for the bread. I folded it and folded it again. So I, I just, yeah. Well, that's no good. I, no, it's just, you know, am I being, you know. Yeah. He understands the reference. Yeah. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> I just like how outraged he is. Like, no, but if I fold it and fold it fold again, it, it, it just, just breaks apart. That's <laughs> break, no yeah, good. That's no good. I can't do that. But it's that, oh, and it's boy. also it's that classic actor thing of like, is it me? Am I being unreasonable? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yes, you absolutely are, but no one is going to tell you that. So, yeah. So, uh, so in wrapping up, what can you tell us about the story for season three? What are we going to be seeing this season? Oh, I, I, it really is. It's, it is, it is this beautiful kind of, uh, of, of, of series of explode in my mind, a series of explosions. It's like the, 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 you, you sort of, you, you get to one point and then you just get hurled into the next section and then, another, then, then things begin to sort of assemble again. And then you're hurled back into another one. So there's this wonderful sort of propulsion to the whole, to the whole, the whole season. And it's just, it's nonstop. Like every day, you'd look at the at the call sheet. You'd be like, "How much? What? That's like another fifty dead there. Oh, the hundred and fifty. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the war sequence with you know thousand people. All of you know all of having to be shot in like groups of ten or whatever they did. Mm. You know, I it's I it really is. It, it's it takes things to a whole. It takes it to eleven. <laughs> <laughs> it's like C to eleven. Like yeah. one louder. Yeah, it was just one louder. You can't see, so yeah. it's louder. Right. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it! I love that. No, I... no, this is eleven. <laughs> I need my little stone. Why not just thing. make ten? <laughs> yeah, that's louder. it. I made it no, to size. The was, <laughs> it's yeah. eighteen inches. That's what you wrote down on the paper. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stone. I think the problem was. <laughs> the Stonehenge was being threatened by being demolished by a couple of, <laughs> couple of little people. Yeah, little people. <laughs> See, Here I lies David like St. Hubbard. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm referencing Final Town with David Hewlett. All right. <clears throat> 
in reference to C somehow. I don't <laughs> even know how that. That's, that's how we roll. That's how we roll. That's what we that, do here. That made my Grinch heart grow three slices because I made these guys watch it. She did. <laughs> oh, really? And Alex yeah. fought me on I it. I didn't oh, like it. I didn't did. like it at first, but now the longer I think about it, I'm like, this fucking movie it's brilliant. brilliant. Listen, there's a lot of those she... films that are almost more fun to quote. Monty Python's the same thing. You watch yeah. Monty Python and you're like, huh? And then you're just quoting yeah. it for the rest of your life. Yeah. Right. What Jude, were you going to say? I would say Jude made me watch a movie I've seen 20 times. <laughs> 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 it was a first watch for me. You're welcome. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, everybody. If you guys are a fan of C, the TV show on Apple TV, we are going to be doing crazy coverage of this TV show uh, moving in for the next couple of months while it's airing for season three. Uh, we have interviews with the cast and crew, Jonathan Tropper, Michael Snyman, uh, Sylvia Hoax, who plays Queen Kane, uh, David Hewlett, of course. I hope you'll be back to talk about your scientific crazy right. madman uh, when the season's through. So if you like this show as much as we do, come join us every single week. We will be talking about the newest episode that drops on Apple TV. And if you're not a fan, why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come problem? join us. Get caught yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> watch <laughs> all right so let's get out of here matt vader where can they find you on the socials oh you can find me at matt vader 74 on all of the social media stuff that matters i guess all right so yeah <laughs> dig it jude uh you can find me at i am jude juju on instagram and on tiktok all right matthew kadish you can find me at matthew kadish k-a-d-i-s-h on twitter kadishbooks.com takes you to my amazon page and uh, if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, be sure to give us a five-star rating. Those things really help, and it'll help us get accredited as official movie reviewers mm. on Rotten Tomatoes eventually. Sweet. Yeah. Crank it up to 11. Uh, <laughs> guys, join us on our Discord app, SaltyNerdDiscord.com. We chat every single day with fans of the podcast, and we talk about new shows and what you guys want us to talk about as well. So if you want input, head over to the Discord app and uh, join us. Uh, Mr. Hewlett, where can they find you on the socials, sir? Uh, best best probably go to techbandits.org. That's where I've got sort of all my all my strange and bizarre sciencey things going on. So inside your that's, fort that's where your you make bet. stuff. Yeah. That's it where I make toys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Adam Mook. You too could make this. <laughs> <laughs> I have schematics. It's all good. This is good money for sound boots, you know? <laughs> Silly. Did you make it out of your yeah. Superman sheets? That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I should have put a sheet in here. That's true. <laughs> I got my robot, my robot quilt on top. <laughs> but Stargate Atlantis sheets. Yes, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just David Hewlett's face <laughs> behind David Hewlett. <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the Dr. Rodney McKay uh, body pillow. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, my God. Did they make those? <laughs> no, thank God. Well, they do now. <laughs> I'll get, I have to get one for Kadish if they do. <laughs> <laughs> All there right, are folks. things you can't do. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. All right, folks. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next week. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay salty. Whatever. It's all good. Have a good day. Stay <laughs> salty. Stay salty, my friends. Stay weird. Stay weird.